The world is full of strange things. We document them. This is Absurdist Archives. Let's begin. Imagine your brain, shaped by thousands of years of constant movement, suddenly stuck in a repetitive, sedentary lifestyle. Could this drastic change be messing with your mental health and emotional resilience? Today, we're diving into the neuroscience of the nomadic to sedentary transition to find out how modern life may be pushing our brains to their limits. For most of human history, we lived as nomadic foragers, constantly moving, exploring, and socializing. Our brains thrived on novelty, physical activity, and tight social bonds. Fast forward to today. Many of us spend hours sitting, staring at screens, or commuting the same routes. The problem? Our brains still expect a dynamic environment, not a sedentary routine. Studies show that the hippocampus, responsible for memory and navigation, shrinks when understimulated. When we rely on GPS instead of our innate spatial awareness, the hippocampus essentially powers down. Meanwhile, the prefrontal cortex, PFC, crucial for planning and self-regulation, can weaken under chronic stress, leading to impaired impulse control. And the amygdala, our brain's fear center, becomes hyperactive, making us more prone to anxiety. This mismatch manifests as a rise in anxiety, depression, and social isolation. Our brains, wired for community and exploration, struggle when confined to monotonous routines. Chronic stress, lack of movement, and reduced face-to-face -face interaction can lead to a depressiogenic environment. Imagine your brain constantly preparing for survival, but never facing a real threat. That's how modern stress traps us. Our ancestors face new challenges daily, finding food, avoiding predators, exploring terrain. Today, our predictable lives lack that environmental novelty, which is essential for neuroplasticity. Studies reveal that exploring new places sparks hippocampal activity, boosting memory and resilience. On the other hand, repetitive environments lead to cognitive stagnation. Can we combat this? Absolutely. Incorporating new experiences, travel, or even changing daily routines can rejuvenate the brain's adaptive potential. Living in clean, enclosed spaces may also impact our immune system. Our ancestors were exposed to diverse microbes, which helped calibrate their immunity. Today, reduced microbial exposure can lead to autoimmune disorders and allergies. Our immune system becomes overactive, mistaking harmless substances for threats. By spending more time outdoors and embracing a bit of dirt and nature, we can help recalibrate our immune responses, reducing the risk of chronic inflammation. While we can't turn back time, we can reintroduce elements of our nomadic past into modern life. Regular physical activity, social interaction, novelty and natural exposure can help our brains and bodies function more optimally. It's about creating a balance between our evolutionary past and our modern lifestyle. To support the channel, purchase something through the affiliate link in the video's description. Comment your thoughts and share this video with someone who could benefit from seeing it. Or subscribe for new content every Tuesday.